Did you know that a Hungarian cardinal lived in the U.S. Embassy in Budapest for 15 years? Josef Mincenti staunchly resisted the uh, fascist and communist governments that ruled Hungary. He was arrested in December of 1948 and accused of treason and conspiracy. He was tortured and forced to confess to a host of crimes, including the theft of Hungary's crown jewels and planning World War III. He was sentenced to life imprisonment in February 1949. During the Hungarian Revolution of 1956, he was released from prison, uh, praised the anti-communist revolution on the radio. Just a few days later, however, on November 4, 1956, the USSR invaded Hungary. Cardinal Mincenti then sought asylum in the U.S. Embassy. At the time, the U.S. mission was quite small and was constantly harassed by Hungarian security. Relations with Hungary were almost non-existent. During Mincenti's stay, an American officer always had to be present at the embassy 24-7. Male officers would take turns going on walks with him outside of the courtyard uh, shared with the uh, Hungarian National Bank. There was a fear that, if left alone, Hungarian and Soviet agents would kidnap him. The cardinal resided in what used to be the ambassador's office. As much as he was respected for his heroism, Mincenti was also a rather prickly character. Moreover, his presence in the embassy hindered any attempts by the U.S. and the Vatican to improve relations with Hungary. Finally, in 1971, after 15 years, Pope Paul VI offered a compromise, declaring Mincenti a victim of history rather than a victim of communism. The Vatican also annulled the excommunication imposed on his opponent. The Hungarian government allowed Mincenti to leave in September. He lived in exile in Vienna until his death in 1975 at the age of 83. An odd footnote, Woody Allen's first Broadway play, Don't Drink the Water, about an American family that seeks refuge at a U.S. embassy somewhere in Eastern Europe, is loosely based on Mincenti's story. ADST, follow us for more.